Welcome to CBN News in Brief with me, Wango Inkoge. Somaliland Sustainable Development Goals Summit 2019 was held today in Hagesa in an event presided over by five government ministers. Sustainable Development Goals offer a unique opportunity for civil society and government institutions to work together on agreed common goals. The two-day conference, which ends tomorrow, seeks to address justice for all citizens in the country, ending female genital mutilation, peace among communities, inclusivity and freedom of expression. The summit brought together authorities, practitioners, civil society leaders and activists. They emphasized on the need to localize the 2030 United Nations agenda and the need to accelerate its execution. Somaliland's Minister of Foreign Affairs, Yasin Faratun, said that although Somaliland is yet to become a member of the United Nations, the country will implement sustainable development goals. Reports say that an explosion occurred on Wednesday targeting an army convoy escorting Somalia officials in Mogadishu. Three soldiers were killed after an improvised explosive device was detonated and hit their vehicle. The incident happened in the vicinity of Tale intersection in Hoden district of Mogadishu. Two bystanders were also injured in the explosion as per reports. The military court chief Hassan Ali Shute survived the assassination attempt after the IED attack in the outskirts of Mogadishu. Reports say that the roadside blast hit his convoy while he was returning from El Sanini military base in Lower Shabele region. The leaders of Somalia and Kenya have jointly agreed to work towards normalizing relations without any implications for the maritime case at the ICJ. The agreement was reached following a tripartite meeting facilitated by the African Union Chair and current President of Egypt, Abdul Fattah El Sisi. The agreement was reached following a tripartite meeting facilitated by the African Union Chair and current President of Egypt, Abdul Fattah El Sisi, at the sideline of United Nations General Assembly in New York. President Sisi, Chairman of the African Union, had arranged the meeting after Kenya requested an out-of-court negotiation through the continental bloc over the maritime boundary dispute. The case, due for public hearing in November, is currently at the International Court of Justice after Somalia sued, seeking to redraw the sea boundary. The two neighboring countries also agreed to formulate joint committee from both governments to implement the fruitful agreements between Mogadishu and Nairobi. A press statement by Villa Somalia, however, stressed that the federal government of Somalia emphasized on the need of both countries in respecting the role of the ICJ in managing the disputed maritime case. Somalia's President Mohamed Abdullahi Fomajo held talks with his Turkish counterpart Rajab Tayyip Erdogan at the sideline of the United Nations General Assembly in New York on Wednesday. The two leaders discussed ways to further boost already existing strong historic diplomatic relations between Mogadishu and Ankara. In a statement on his official Twitter account, President Mohamed Abdullahi Fumadu said he had held bilateral meetings with Erdogan. He said that they remain committed to strengthening the Somali-Turkish bond of brotherhood, which has always stood the test of time. Turkey is among the very few international actors who believed in Somalia's success and have subsequently invested in Somalia's development. President Erdogan made his first visit to Somalia in the year 2011 when the country was facing its worst famine in decades due to climate change. In 2017, Turkey announced that since 2011, it had sent nearly $1 billion worth of aid to Somalia. Turkey's involvement in Somalia has boosted Ankara's image as a responsible actor both on the African continent and globally. The Somalian Civil Aviation Authority has dismissed media reports that it suspended flights to Kismayo, noting it only directed airlines to seek authorization 24 hours ahead of departure. The suspension was to last for three days 
and came ahead of the inauguration of Ahmed Madobe, who was re-elected to lead Jubaland in a disputed election last month. The United Nations and the central government had wanted the vote to be postponed and have refused to recognize the results. Somalia's director of civil aviation, Ahmed Malim, has clarified that flights en route to Kismayo from Mogadishu have not been suspended. Ahmed, however, says airlines are required to liaise with the aviation ministry 24 hours ahead of their scheduled time. An early statement from the government did not give a reason for the suspension of the flights to Kismayo, but it was seen as an effort to stop politicians and other leaders from attending the inauguration of Madobe in Kismayo. On Sunday, the authorities had stopped Somalia's former president, Sheikh Sharif Sheikh Ahmed, from traveling to Kismayo to attend the inauguration. Thank you for watching CBN News Brief. Join Eunice Deco later tonight with more and detailed news.